I expect a good, clean fight. We already went over the rules in the back. Touch them up now if we're going to do it. All right, when the action begins, Adam Kerr in the black and orange, Tobias Taylor in the black. One thing to keep your eyes on, guys, Kerr told us Tobias Taylor's very good at moving forwards and backwards, not so much side to side. Yeah, but well, when we were talking to Tobias yesterday, he said the reason I've been getting beat because I sit back and I want to counter all the time. i got to move forward against Adam if I'm going to be victorious. Very good advice against somebody with the reach advantage. If you cannot wait in his, in his reach, you got to come forward and stop that reach advantage. Close that gap when you want to. Nice leg kick by Tobias Taylor. Care switching stances early on here in this fight, throwing different looks at Taylor. Nice inside leg kick. Yeah, both guys trading kicks. But I like Kerr. He's staying in, in the range three and four here. One of the coaches over here for Tobias Taylor with. Oh! Big man! This onslaught that's coming. Tobias Taylor took a nice guard. It's done. It's deep. It's deep. It's deep. It is deep. Karen, Karen, all kinds of trouble. Karen's got to push those hips away. If he lets that hip get close, he's in trouble. That's it. He did. He brought it closer. It's it's right. Taylor jumps this. All kinds of trouble for Adam Kerr here. Kerr is in big trouble. He's got to push is those he, hips away. He might be unconscious. Oh, no, he's put his, he put his thumb up. He's trying to put his thumb up anyway. Man, that's tight. This but is tight. Tobias has got to be wild. careful. If he does not get this submission, his arms are going to be gassed. He's about to get and out. And Kerr's recovered. Wow. Kerr's out. What a dog. That what? shows the training and the cardio that they had. That's, that ex team. that's exactly what that is right there. He was out. He was all but done right now. Training took over. He was on autopilot. What a turn of events. Adam Kerr out of the submission and on top. But now, Lionel just said, he pointed out. Tobias' arms, you know they're burning right now. Did man. you see the look on his face? Yes. He was giving everything he got to go for that submission. That's a danger when you go for it like that. If you don't get it, you just got a lot of lactic acid build up in those arms. That's right. The conditioning of Adam Carey, you guys touched on it, but my gosh, to be back in this fight after a, a bomb from Tobias Taylor early, and then the submission attempt. He got folded up, and then he was in a really bad submission. Man, he was out. What, he, yes. what, what woke him back up was when he hit the mat. That's exactly what woke him back up. And I think the referee did a great job. He, if he was going to take clean shots, he was going to stop him, but he did not. He was able to recover a little bit and defend himself. Rob Mooney, one of the best in the game, man. Good eyes on Rob Mooney, the referee. But look, what Adam's doing, he's fighting a smart fight. He's recovering, exactly. he's dominating the round. Good job by Tobias. Tobias wrestling, stands up, body lock. A lot of time left in this first round still. And we were told Tobias' wrestling's underestimated. He has really good transitions and scrambles. The corner of Tobias Taylor calling for knees in this clinch position. Adam Kerr's got that underhook on the left side. I'm going to try to jack it up and rotate out towards that side. He definitely needs to get his back off the fence. Yes, right now he's going to be losing this fight in that position. There he goes. He's got the body there. It spins. Take down a tip for Kerr. Nice. Secures it. Taylor gets up his back. Going for a Kamara lock. That's a great move on words, but it's fairly easy to fan like Kerr's doing right now. Right here, and that's really hard to get that Kamora sweep up against the cage panel as well. Absolutely. The cage is a different factor that's not injury you. You just not used to that. You have to train differently. Exactly. Watch the left arm of Adam Kerr. Looks like he's starting to throw the darts of his own. Using the right elbow to soften Taylor up. And that's exactly there. Right. Yep. And there it is. Now Adam Kerr trying to sneak in a darts of his own after almost being put to sleep by Tobias Taylor early in this round. Tobias is fighting very good. He's doing it. He's turning in. So he got out of it for the time being. Nice elbow by Adam Kerr. What a war here in the first round of your very first professional fight of the night, guys. I'm going to tell you, man, this, in general, this whole card's been kick-ass. It really has, from the first amateur fight now to the first pro fight. 
absolutely. Short time remaining in the first round. Adam Kerr putting up another submission attempt. Darce on the right side now. Tobias Taylor sniffs it out. I mean, you could not walk away from this first round anything other than ultimately impressed with both of these guys. I mean, and, and that makes it a very difficult round to, to judge, in it my does. opinion, because do you go with the, I mean, the knockdown and almost getting submitted right away, but then there was probably more control at the end by care. Uh, that, that was a tough round. Look, the second round starts standing. <laughs> Let's see if Tobias can catch him again. That's the thing. I mean, Adam's got to be more aware. And Look he, at this. Here Watch the is. replay. Caught him right on the button right there. Ladies Folded out. him up. And his eyes were out, his arms were stiff. And as you said, Andy woke it back up by the shots of Tobias Taylor. But good job. He's not really getting hit hard there, and he's defending. Great job by the referee. A lot of guys would have jumped in and just stopped that. And as you can see, it wasn't necessary. Listen, what set up that overhand counter was a naked kick. He did set up that leg kick. Tobias, if you remember, yep. right when the fight started, Tobias came this close to countering with that with the, with the right cross. He caught him that time. Adam cannot be throwing these naked kicks, man. He's got to set them up. Tobias is a great kickboxer. He's been training this crap for years. A world-class kickboxer. Yes. One thing we talk about in the gym all the time, don't throw naked kicks. Throw them behind punches. Throw them at different times. Don't just throw a kick. You're going to get counted. Sometimes you'll throw a punch. You know it's not going to land. You don't care if it lands. You're just setting up that kick. Exactly. Tobias Taylor stalking care. Good job. Just mirroring his hips right now. Good job. Nice tee by Adam Kerr. Oh, oh it is caught it again. Left hook, right hand, lands for Tobias Taylor. Wise, nice. wise, wise take down letters. attempt from Kerr right there and secures it. Tobias Taylor goes for the guillotine. Taylor's Taylor, out. I'd like to see Taylor try to get up immediately right now. Don't, don't settle for your back right now. Got to explode, try to get back to your feet. He's doing very well on his feet. Yeah, he was. And he needs to start scooping his butt up to the cage, try to cage walk up. Adam Kerr's doing a really good job of controlling him. Do not let him go off to the side. I want his shoulders flat to the floor. Kerr's doing a good job now of taking away that wall walk. That's exactly what Taylor needs to do. He uses his back against the fence and use that to, as like a, a different pressure point and push yourself up. Right. The Walmart Jim Red Corner begging Tobias Taylor to get his right hand under Adam Kerr. He's trying to do it right there. See if he's able to get it and care wisely re -pummers. If he can get that under, but he has to be careful if he comes up, that Dorse is there. Exactly. It's very difficult with a guy with long arms. They're always going for that Dorse. You have to grab it, keep hold of it. Taylor up on his feet. Care trying to secure another takedown. He's net cutting again. Oh, he feels like he's got it. He, and Taylor in on this guillotine again. Jumps it. He has to feel confident in it. Yeah, it's very difficult to finish this type of move right there. Does he have an arm in? No, he doesn't. When you're jumping on it, you, you're pretty confident that you can secure it. And look at the look right now in Tobias' face. And he's out. He's out. That's another one where you waste a lot of arm strength right there. Well, it's here's hard the rest of the round. Right, here's what I don't understand. When he was in that situation, why didn't he circle out and keep the fight standing? He's had really good success against Adam in that situation, and he jumps guillotine again. That, that's the problem with that guillotine. You feel the end right there. All I have to do is get this, and I can I've submit people in practice with it. I know I can submit it, but when you don't, you're in a bad position. Exactly. Well, one thing to think about as well, it's it's one thing to do it in a uh, no gi jiu-jitsu, but the, the gloves make it difficult. You know, it, they impede your grip so hard, it, it, it's not ideal. Yeah, so that's where it becomes a more of a strategy thing. Say, what, what do I have to do? You want to get the position where you're going to dominate most likely, and that will stand up in this position. Device looking for that Kamora sweep, which he got. Oh, no, good job by Adam Kerr. Kerr staying on top, has a hook now, working on the back of Tobias Taylor. Tobias turning in, which is a good job by Tobias to turn into that choke. He needs to get his back flat on the mat right now. Yes. I know it's not a good spot to be mounted, but it's better than being choked. Yes, it is. Tobias Taylor running his hips across, trying good. to reverse the position. Nice job by Tobias. You get, you get that left arm out, get the left arm, keep moving left, he'll be in a good position, just like he did. He needs to look to posture up, start throwing some elbows down with a minute and 51 seconds left. He's going to have to do something if he wants to eke out this round. Right. He's got to be active. He can't just sit here and be docile. Just what it is, good, good corner work right here. They're telling me you have to score, you have to score exactly what we just said. Maybe they're listening to us. I don't know. <laughs>
And Care that, trying to work his back up on the cage. Very good position here for Care. That's exactly what he's doing, Alex Hacker, but he's doing a really good job of neutralizing Tobias right now. Tobias can't do nothing right now. Not only that, like you're saying, if you're defending, you're not being offensive. Exactly. You can work on defense, but you're not doing anything to win the round. You're just defending. Very difficult to pass the guard on Adam Carragher. He has very long legs. He knows how to use it. That one's oh, split there. That one's splitting. splitting. Looks like it's a up high by the head, too. Looks like it's in a good spot. Going to roll beside the eye. The blood will. Yep. Tobias, his corner's telling him, be active. Keep going. Keep throwing that elbow. And I don't blame him. Yeah, I feel like if he's going to try to sneak out this round, he's going to have to. I agree. But many times we, we've seen this. Uh, a judge will give the, the round to the fighter that finishes the round on top. That's that's their last impression right there. He was on top landing elbows. It was for a while. It wasn't like it was 10 seconds. He was all, he's been on here for about a minute and a half right now. But, but the thing about it is he's in a dominant position. Besides that one elbow, really, Adam Kerr has, has dominated the ground. He's neutralized the situation. Agreed. He, well, he landed a couple elbows that were yeah. not, not, not significant besides the one that did the cut. You're right. I'd like to see him step back, even let the opponent up right now. Well, not right now, but a few minutes, maybe, maybe right. 45 seconds. It would let your opponent right. up. You were doing well on your feet. Perplexing, maybe, that, you know, the success that Tobias Taylor had on the feet. And he had a chance to get up and out with two minutes to go in that second round. Just stayed on top and, you know, landed a couple of shots, as you guys said, but not a lot of work. Well, it's like Lytle said, man, you feel confident with that guillotine because you get it in practice all the time in the training room. You get in here, you're sweaty as heck. But he had to be confident going for that, man. I don't understand why he would do that right. and be in Adam's world. And there's another thing right. with the tiredness comes into play. You get that lactic ass bit of your tired, like, oh, I got a chance to finish it right now. I want to get out of here. That's true. And here's right at the beginning. Here's where Nance lends a nice little two-piece. I believe, bop, bop. A couple of good little shots right there knocked Adam back. And Adam woke up right away and gets in on the takedown. He says, no, nah, I'm, I'm done with this game. Yeah. How impressive is the striking from Tobias Taylor at such a height and reach disadvantage to be so successful on the feet? To be able to get inside, and his Z-step is really sick, too, if you've noticed. That's really helped him in this fight, to get inside. This also, is, Adam throwing naked kicks. Yeah, <laughs> this is a very difficult fight to, to call. I'm not going to judge. I'm, saying, I'm not sure who's going to you guys think it 1-1? One, one? I, I, I have no idea. Yeah. I can see 1-1, one, one, I can see 2-0 two, two, oh, either way. I don't know how you would judge the first round. It's like Lytle said, man, that's really tough. Do you give all the credit to the ball? Oh, not strong. Oh, good head kick. Care mixing it up nicely. I mean, Adam's got to do a better job of, he's just shooting from far away. He's yeah, telegraphing. He's... You cannot shoot from that far away in this sport. Tobias should have stuffed the head down and circled out. Yep. But look, and yes, Care was shooting from forever away, but you know, look where it led him. Yeah, he, push him. Close the push right. You just got to be careful doing that because you eat a knee, you eat an uppercut. If you can do it once or twice, but if you continually do it, if they break again, Tobias is probably going to recognize it being a veteran. There he, Tobias goes to get the underhooks, trying to circle out. Tobias is looking to counter on that leg kick, man. He, he sees it. See, there it is. Nice food. Straight right hand lands for Tobias Taylor. Adam Kerr stalking. Oh, Good nice sweet take, single man. right there for Adam Kerr. Tobias Taylor still defending, however. Submarine position leads to a takedown for Kerr. Taylor's in on the guillotine again. Taylor, Taylor has got to fight this right now. He's got to get to a fence right now. He cannot just lay on his back and lose this round. No, he needs to start scooting himself to his defense. He's got to go. Tobias' corner is yelling, you're not winning off your back. You can't be content here. He can't. He needs to go for broke right here. He's got three minutes left. He's got to try to improve his position. Turtle walk. Something to improve the position here. Well, using that fence right now would be a, a good idea. Fence. It's very difficult, though, with Adam Kerr right now just smothering him. Adam Kerr's looking for the head and arm. He let go. Tobias Taylor, and, you know, maybe he thinks he's ahead on the scorecards, but I, I personally would not feel so, super confident in this. It's a, been a very tight bout so far. He was trying to bump sweep right there. You're not going to bump sweep Adam Kerr. 
from that position right there, especially with the cage panel. Right exactly. There. It's like Lytle said, he needs to try to get up and start cage walking up. Go for broke, man. But start trying to stand. Very difficult at this point. He's mounted. He's going to have to really work to get it there. Now he got one leg out, but he's going to have to use that left underhook he has to try and get up on that hip and, and work his way out. Use the cage. Right. And if I'm care, I'm honestly, I'm probably going to try to get a little bit more active as well. Perhaps even stop this fight. You had no clue yeah. what the scorecards are saying. I'd hate to just let it go thinking and win and then come to find out, no, you lose a split decision. So. The boss explodes out. He's halfway up. And Kerr in on the single leg again. Tobias trying to defend. Elbows to the body. Had to defend that leg right there. Goes here. That's a nice little sneaky elbow by Tobias Taylor. Kerr trying to step over the leg, secure the takedown. Kamora trapped for Taylor as a defense. I love that defense right there. You use that, you can stop that single leg very well. Nice elbows to the ear. And Kerr switching from the single leg to the double. Well, no, he was going to, excuse me, the Kamora <laughs> trap for it. I see that head come outside, I think. You're yeah, I thought that, yeah. Very difficult spot. Might look like they're just standing there, right? But they're not. He's going for that Kamara lock. If he lets go of that grip, he's going to go for the Kamara. Adam Kerr is just being relentless. He's keeping the pressure on Tobias Taylor. Tobias needs to pull that arm off his leg. There you go. Now he'll throw a couple more elbows. Try and score some points right now. There you go. With 54 seconds left, there he goes. Good job by Kerr. Such a close fight. This yeah, is this. anybody's bout, man. Oh, man. Oh, damn. Damn. Oh, for Taylor. Kerr diving under again, trying to secure a takedown. Tobias is being stubborn. You got that, you got that right, that left leg out. You can continue damage to your opponent right now. Tobias is up to the feet. He should have pummeled on that right side. He didn't. He went for the overhook. And Adam Kerr secures a takedown with short time remaining. Will that make a difference? It's hard to tell. If you don't do much with it, I, who knows right now? Yeah, if you, I mean, you get the takedown and you're just laying there, man, trying to, you know, I don't know. I, I wouldn't give you much credit for it. I mean, but Adam Kerr's not just trying to really lay there, but I mean, there's just not much time to get in a dominant position. Short time remaining. What a war. Back and forth action here. Adam Kerr absolutely floored in the first round. Yeah. And that does it for your first professional fight of the night. Great job. Hey, man. Great pressure, great pressure. Great pressure by Adam Kerr. It was a good job. That's what won him the fight, Lytle, was the pressure, man. Uh, did it win him the fight? I have no idea what these scores are gonna be right now. I know, well, I, the thing is, I, I really feel like round one is gonna be the key. How do you score that round? Well, How do you judge that me, round? You, in my opinion, you have to give it to Tobias for laying on the big knockdown, almost knocking almost. him out, and then almost submitting him. Even if the guy controlled the next three minutes, I feel like that supersedes it because it's all about damage, in my opinion. But I'm not a judge here. We don't know what they're going to look at. But both of these guys were game. Tobias Taylor, great stand-up, man. I, I just feel like there was a few opportunities where he could have got back to the stand-up. Yep, agree. And, and he decided not to. He was content. But you know what? I think we proved our point when we talked about earlier. This was an even fight going in. A lot of people didn't think so. To see a guy who's three and one versus a guy who's three and four, but he, he's a very tough three and four. You're not he gonna is. find a tougher three and four in the country. No, man. I mean, look at all the guys he's fought. You are your record is who you fought. Quality wins, man. I don't know. This is a tough fight. I call this to be a fight of the night. Great transitions. Yeah, you, you're right so far. And usually when it takes this long, Lytle, it's a split decision. I know, but they've taken pretty long all, all, all night. night. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them was split. Yeah, yeah this will be very interesting. I mean, like you said, both guys have so much riding on that. You're going to be four and one, or are you going to get back to 500? That's big. That's huge for both these guys. Their future depends on it. It really does, man. That restarts your career. You look, four and four looks way better than three and five, man. You're not kidding. And four and one is a lot better than three and two. That's so. right. A lot of future implications for both these gentlemen right now. You know, I hate leaving it. I would not be surprised at all with this split decision. No, I wouldn't be surprised at all. But, you know, you guys were talking about in the pre-show, Alex Hacker talked about it. 
you know, going up to uh, Adam Kerr's gym, just the talent in the room yeah, there, absolutely. just the tutelage and the coaches there, and it really showed, man. We you kind of we talked about it in the first round. For him to recover off a devastating overhand right like that, it showed. I mean, it really shows their conditioning and how they're really training up there in East Lansing. Andy, any time you get hit in one of your legs, your feet, you get folded up like that, that means you're pretty much out on your feet, or, right. you're falling down, and, and the ground wakes you up like we talked about. I mean, if, usually people don't fall like that. They might get hit, they might fall back, but when you fall back just like that, that means you were rocked. And this, he was rocked and was able to recover. That's, that's just like you talked about, hard work, bodies on autopilot for a while until you recover. Yep, that's it, man. So hopefully these, uh, the commission is is wrapping up with Lance here. Hopefully we'll have a verdict here very soon. Adam Kerr came over and was like, eh, like he's wasn't, wasn't ha you know, really happy with his performance tonight. Well, yeah. Hey, man, I mean, we, we talked about that. Anytime you're fighting a guy who, you know, I don't care what it is, he, you got a losing record, you're thinking, I'm going to kill this guy. I'm really good. I'm ready to go to the next level. And just right there, see how that foot got pulled up? I mean, he was almost knocked out, and he knows it. So anytime you make a mistake like that, you're like, man, I didn't fight my best tonight, and I want to, I hope I get out with this win, but he's not happy with his performance no matter what. Looks like we got Lance Green's got the verdict on the fight. B2 Fighting Series fans, after three grueling rounds, this decision has gone to the judges' scorecards. Your first judge, Tim Steckel, scores this 30 27. Taylor. Your next judge scores it. Brandon Gallo scores it 29 28. Care. Your final judge, Kane Lee, sees this bout 30 27 for your winner by split decision out of the red corner. Tobias Tate Taylor. I mean, I'm a little surprised to have a 30 27. Anyway, really, but right. like I said, I'm not surprised with any judges anymore, so. I'm not surprised either. 30-27, I didn't see that. But I believe we got our, our man Alex Hacker is about to interview Mr. Tobias Taylor with a phenomenal win tonight, a hard-fought fight. Here's All right, Alex I'm Hacker. here with the victor, Tobias Taylor. Tobias, how are you feeling, man? Man, I feel great. That's my first win in like two years. Uh, my third fight in like two years, man. So I've been grinding, I've been working hard, I've been on the kickboxing scene. It's nice to get another win back in that cage, you know? What were you thinking in the first round when you floored Adam Kerr and he didn't go away? I mean, I knew I was gonna drop him, it was just a matter of time. But he's tough, man, that dude is tough. Cause I was dropping bombs, I was trying to take him out. But he didn't wanna, he didn't wanna go out with a W, with a, with a L, I mean, so, you know, props to Adam Kerr. How tight were those guillotines, Tobias? I thought they were tight. He didn't think so. He didn't tap. But uh, <laughs> my arms are tired, but it don't matter. I got the W. What's next for you, Tobias? Hopefully I could take a fight next month and keep that winning streak going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Tobias Taylor. All right, Tobias Taylor, man, what a victory by a top prospect in Adam Kerr. Fantastic, and that's what we talked about earlier. He just, he was been in there with a lot of tough guys and exactly what he did. I mean, he just went out there and proved exactly what we were talking about. I love it when he makes us look smart. Right. <laughs> Tobias, Tobias Taylor.